Hi, I'm Steve from abbastands.co.uk and in this video we're going to show you how to fully assemble the Abba Skylift. The first job is to fit the wheels to the Skylift. To do this you will require the main Skylift upright, the three feet which are marked blue, red and yellow, the four wheels, two with brakes and two without, and the fixings. We will start by fitting one of the brake wheels to the main Skylift upright. To do this, we will require the longest of the four bolts and the gold spacer. Ensure that the spacer is fitted between the wheel and the skylift itself. Finish off with a washer and a nylock. Tighten the wheel bolt with the Allen key provided. These do not need to be excessively tight. Once tightened, ensure the wheel spins freely. If you feel any resistance, loosen the nut so the wheel spins nice and freely. We now need to fit the second brake wheel to the leg marked with the blue sticker. Tighten the wheel as before and ensure the wheel rotates freely. And finally install the two non-brake wheels to the red and yellow foot as before. Now all four wheels have been installed, we can now fit the feet into the main skylift itself. As before, these are colour coded so you know their location. When you get to the final leg, this has to be slid through to the line indicated on the sticker. Now the three legs have been inserted, tighten down all six of the M8 bolts nice and securely. We now need to fit the roller guide assembly to the main upright. This has been pre-assembled and greased from the factory. Lock the roller guide off at the lower locking position and install the plastic cap in the top of the upright. We now fit the hydraulic pump to the main upright. Slide the pump over the pin on the base of the lift and use an M16 washer and M16 nylon. Once the nut is fully tightened, an important point to note here is to loosen the nut a quarter to half a turn to allow some free play in the hydraulic pump. To attach the top of the hydraulic pump to the roller guide assembly, you will require the M16 nut and bolt and the two centralising spacers. Firstly, raise the pump up so all three holes come in line. As before, tighten down and back off a quarter to half a turn to allow some free play in the centralising spacers. We are now going to fit this red central section to the roller guide assembly. To do this you will require the M14 nut and bolt. Another important point to note here is this roller on the bottom of the red central section has been pre-factory set so do not adjust the nut or bolt either side. When fitting the red central section to the roller guide assembly, there are three possible starting positions. We recommend you use the centre hole as your starting position and adjust later depending on your swing arm pivot height. Unlike the previous two bolts, this bolt needs to be tightened down securely. 
Whilst tightening, apply some pressure with your foot to the red central section to ensure the roller guide stays firmly against the main upright. You will have been supplied a bike specific fitting kit. Check these fittings are suitable on your bike and insert them in the appropriate sides of the skylift. The skylift is now fully assembled and ready for use. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us via telephone or email. Thanks for watching.